There's two parts to the Six Nations camp. Uh, one is the integration back of the players into the national team. And just doing a little bit of planning. Players have been outstanding, couldn't be more pleased with the team. Um, they've come back in, great enthusiasm, dealt with the Saracens issue and got on with being members of the England side that, that wants to be the greatest rugby team ever. 20 seconds, one person working. 20 seconds, the other person working. You move on one exercise. Stand up! Go! Stay in two plays, 20 seconds, let's roll up and down. Go a bit quicker there, Michael, moving up and down, that's it. Well done, keep going, boys. After the World Cup final, I got a call from Eddie uh, just to chat rugby. Asked me where I was in my life, what I was doing, and flew over to London. And uh, we had a had a great lunch together, speaking about the game. And he he asked me if I'd be interested in joining him. And we spoke about the philosophy of rugby. And it was just a chat that I was so uh, enthused by. Got up, we shook hands, and uh, yeah, now I'm here. So it's just such a fantastic opportunity for me. My main philosophy would be to create a mindset that everybody buys into and then uh, building a relationship where a player where I care about, about his evolution, about making him the best I can make it. But if you look at the, the age group of this team, where it sits mid-twenties, if you think the next four years of where this team can go to, um, they, they can be the world's best rugby team. For us, we've got to take our norm up a level in terms of standards. In terms of how we train, how we recover, how we interact with each other, everything. We're going to enjoy taking this to somewhere that it's never been before. And to do that, we've got to take our normal up here and make that become our normal as a playing group. Couldn't be happier with the young guys coming through. You know, we've got guys like Will Stewart, who's been at Wasp for three or four years, Alex Moon, uh, Alex Mitchell, Furbank, Dingwell, all good young players have come in and, and adjusted really quickly. Relax mentally, mentally refresh for the start of the new week, and yeah, it's just good for recovery, you know. Here we go, let's get I'm in. genuinely shook that everyone's in wetsuits. Right. It's going to be freezing. That's beautiful, you don't go better than that. Guessing around 12 degrees. Yeah. 12 to 14 degrees would be my estimation. Cold bro, look, everyone's in wetsuits. Should we get an ice cream? Yeah. Treat ourselves. Yeah. I just want us to make sure now that this is another step up. I want us to feel that we're in control of the session, not the session's in control of us. <laughs> We've really worried about ourselves, getting ourselves right. We've picked a, 
a strong forward pack, which is always part of the England way. And we've picked an exciting back line with young George Furbank playing his first test at fullback. We need to kick it early or set a base and then work into it, then we do that. Let's be the ones that start big. Let's go with Please. No, touch the flight, touch the flight. What? Four white. <laughs> no, rock is called. That's a rock then.
We must uh, congratulate the UCAPs today on, uh, on being awarded uh, uh, a cap. So, firstly, could I ask George Fairbanks to come and receive this? Well, Stuart. Overall disappointed. Um, obviously, first half, no one here, no one here good enough from our point of view um, to be 17 0 down. Um, proud of the second half uh, to come back and stick to the plan. I thought the way we did to get a point out of the game. Obviously, not what we came here to do, but uh, it could be a valuable point for us. We'll we'll be honest with each other and we'll move on quickly, which we need to. Um, but we'll be ready for that game next Saturday, and um, we'll go up there with with a good attitude and hopefully better this performance today.